Okay, in this quick video, I'm going to explain two ways um, that you can use to find the COM port that your Arduino is plugged into on your computer. Um, this is important because once you've plugged your Arduino in and you want to communicate with it um, through MATLAB, um, you need to tell MATLAB where it's actually located. And this is, it's, it's pretty easy, but it's a very, very, very important step um, to be able to start communicating um, with your Arduino. Um, this is the Mac version of this video, so if you have a Windows computer, please see the other, the Windows version of this video, um, which should be on the same page. Okay, so let's get started real quick. So all I've got right here, you can't see it on this video, but I have my Redboard Arduino Uno from SparkFun. It is plugged in. It's got a USB cable on it, and then I'm going to take the other end of the USB cable and just plug it into one of my USB ports of my computer. Um, now on the red board you'll see that a few little lights kind of flash for a second and then a big green um, light turns on. It's like an on light. So you know that it's connected if that all that is going well. Okay, so now finding the COM port. Um, one of the easiest ways to do that is by just running the Arduino IDE software. So this is like the standard software that comes with the Arduino. So I'll say allow. Okay. Now, here is just the basic screen of it. I can go to find the actual COM port. I'm going to go to Tools, down to Port. Uh, before I go to Port, let me just check Board. So right here on Board, and it, we've got the Arduino Uno hooked up. Now if I go to Port, look down here, and here is the port. It's always going to look something like this. .USB Serial DA017PV2. Okay, so I've clicked that. Um, so now you're going to need to remember that, that serial port number. It's also, once you've selected it, it's also located, it, lo located down here. Okay, so we've got the COM port. All we have to do is plug it into MATLAB. Um, let me start it up. Okay, so basically to connect MATLAB to the COM port, all you're going to type is A equals Arduino here's where you're going to type in the com information. So this is where it gets a little bit tedious. You've got to put it in quotations and it's slash dev slash tty dot usb serial dash da o one seven p b two. Okay. And then the very last thing that you need um, in this little function that, that connects the Arduino to MATLAB is you need to specify that it is a, an Arduino Uno. Um, and this is because we're using a third-party board. If it was the actual Arduino, then you don't need this Uno part in it. Okay, and that's essentially it. We've um, created a connection to the Arduino. Now if I run it, um, should do something like this. You'll have some lights blinking on the Arduino for a second. And yeah, it'll just print out a little bit of information on the Arduino. So A is equal to all these all these Arduinos and uh, or sorry, all these ports on the Arduino. Okay. Now I told you that there are two ways to do this. Um, I don't usually like using the Arduino software to do this because then I have to write down this whole long number and then type it in. So I'm going to show you guys a much easier way to do it. And it is through a very cool tool that's on your computer called the terminal. So if you go to your desktop and go to go and then utilities, you can go down to, there it is, the terminal. Okay, and mine shows up with like green and black letters. That's because I made it cool. Um, but it, this is super simple. So all you're going to type in is ls. ls stands for list. And then you're going to type this in. Slash dev slash tty dot and then star. So what this line means, it's a, it means list every file that starts with slash dev slash tty dot and star is kind of a placeholder that means like and anything can come after it so it's going to list everything um, that has that prefix to it so I'll hit enter and there we go right there 
is my Arduino Uno um, serial port number. So I can just highlight it, copy it, switch back over to MATLAB, then I don't have to remember the number. I just throw it in there. Um, and that is it. Um, I'll show you another cool thing. So I, I've ran this code already, and even typing in that um, slash dev, tty, all that stuff, that, that, that uh, command that I put in, there's a much easier way to get back to it. If I just hit the up key, then I can, I can just go to my last command that I put in. So I can just hit that again. So it's super easy. Um, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, one of your teachers or TAs. Thanks.